Can you make it on your own? Yep. Okay, chapter eight. Hey, why aren't you at school? Tell me I didn't see you kissing Joey in your car this morning. I dropped her off and I gave her a kiss goodbye. I saw you, Charlie. I saw you patching her. Ruby, there's... Where were you last night? You weren't on duty like you said, were you? Ruby, there's something that <gasps> I have to tell you. You are not gay, Charlie, so don't even think about going there. Look, I don't know what I am, but I know that I am in love with Joey. Oh, my God, you did not just say that. Look, I'm so sorry that you found out the way you did, but I was honestly going to tell you this afternoon. How long has this been going on? The whole time that she's been staying here? No. Ruby, last night was the first night that Joey and I... Oh, already... my gosh, you can't say that. Ruby, look, I knew this was going to come as a shock to you, but you've never had a problem with people being gay, so... No, I don't have a problem with people being gay. I have a problem with my straight sister suddenly deciding that she's gay. Do you think that I just woke up yesterday and thought I'll give it a whirl? Ruby, I have agonised over this. The whole reason I went to Dad's last week was so that I could give myself some space to figure this out. What is there to figure out? You like men. You always have. And look how that's turned out. Oh, right, so you think pretending to be gay is going to turn out heaps better? I'm not pretending. OK, look, you know what? I have to get back to school. You can say whatever you like, but I know you. And you should not be doing this to Joey. It is totally not fair on her. Ruby, you sort yourself out, Charlie. Get yourself. <laughs> being made to feel like it's not and like I have to apologise. I just want to be happy for us. Oh, so be happy. Oh, you can't be serious. Ruby. Ruby, don't walk out on me again. You know what? I came home to tell you that I love you and that I'm going to support you or whatever. But that doesn't mean I'm not totally freaking out about this and you shoving it in my face is not what I need. Look, how was I supposed to know you were going to come home? <laughs> I only live here, Charlie. Ruby, you're not being fair. OK, the only reason Joey came over was because I was so upset about how you reacted when I told you we were together. Oh, can you please stop saying that? Well, there's no other way to say it. Guys, guys. Come on, please don't do this to each other. Ruby, I know this isn't easy for you. Could you at least give Charlie the chance to explain? Please, Rubes. I think Joey probably will be good for Charlie. So what's the problem? I know this is going to sound really awful. But right now, I kind of feel like I've just lost my sister. <laughs> She's going to be different now. I don't want her to be. Everything has changed so much in our lives, especially with Dad. And I just want things with me and Charlie to stay the same. Hey, it will be. It's just, it's just a new phase, that's all. So where is he? Where's your boyfriend today? He's not here, OK? Well, don't be sad. You do better than him anyway. I'm yours any time, to say the word. How about two words, Trey? Drop dead. I like my women a little older. Maybe I'll call your sister instead. She's a total babe. Oh, oh, 